Uh, thank you all for coming to some bigger chili and get entertained by me picking stuff with jam. <laughs> Who's here from uh, for the chili contest? Oh wow, that's great. Who's gonna win? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, we're just here to observe. Oh, okay. for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Because food. Yeah, I do. And I have other food, too. I have some samples. We're going to do a three-course. Actually, today it's a four-course jam. And uh, we're going to start off with, uh, over on the table, with some of my strawberry fire jam right here. This is a strawberry jam made with Thai chili peppers, another Thai thing, right? And uh, so it's got a slow burn. You don't taste the chili pepper, really. You taste the strawberry, but then you get the heat in the back of your throat at the end. So uh, it's on a little goat cheese over there from Costco, and uh, it's really good stuff. Uh, I'll also call out, I'm going to be making uh, some stuff today with a really nice white balsamic vinegar, um, Pacifica Culinaria. These guys are at a few of the farmer's markets that I, that I go to, and uh, you should check them out. After you taste this uh, Caprese, you'll know why. So... Um, let's see, we'll get started. I'm Stan. Who are you? <laughs> this is Mary, and I have a jam called Mary Berry, and she's Mary Berry. So it's a mixed uh, mixed berry jam, strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry. It's awesome. She suggested it, and so I named it after her. Uh, I also have my daughter and her fiancé here. It's Amanda Berry. <laughs> and Q Berry. <laughs> Anyway, so enough of that stuff. Uh, four course jam today, appetizer with the goat cheese and strawberry fire. Then we'll move on into, and you can pick up uh, some recipe cards for all of these things that I'm going to make over on the table or they'll pass them out. And I'd like you to follow along with me because I forget sometimes, you know, because I kind of usually make stuff kind of on the fly. Uh, so this is a little restrictive because I have to follow my own recipe. So, avo caprese. Abo mango caprese salad. It also includes some cilantro. It's a little twist on the traditional uh, caprese. I think you'll like it. And I've got some samples of that. We'll try after I finish uh, making a batch here. So, um, where are you people from? Are you all from San Diego or? Escondido. Escondido. I saw another shaking hand. Temecula. Temecula. All right. That's the farthest reach right now. Okay. Well, welcome. Uh, this is a... Uh, a little kitchen demo that uh, they put on, you know, throughout the fair every day. There's different people showing and stuff, and uh, they gave me a couple of slots this year. So uh, we're going to go through a few of my uh, creative recipes. So the avo mango caprese. Um, so basically, we're going to start off, and we're going to mix the the uh, dressing for it, uh, and that will consist of some of my mango jam, some white balsamic vinegar. I have right here. What else is in there? Anybody know? Olive oil? Okay, I brought a little olive oil. And I'm going to make pretty much half batches of stuff that you see on the recipe card because it would be wasteful to you know make it all. We'll just go with half. So kind of follow along and you can uh, tell me if I can slip up here. Uh, tomatoes, uh, some avocado, and some mozzarella. I usually like to use a burrata mozzarella because it's got a nice flavor. It's creamy. Uh, but I did uh, pick up a nice little mozzarella just for uh, this that will hold together and kind of, you know, it'll look better under the camera and stuff. So we'll do that. And then we've got some fresh cilantro here. So I'm going to start off and just chop up a little bit of the fre fresh cilantro. And uh, some of this is from my garden. I have a little culinary garden in Lucadia where I grow a lot of my fruit and uh, herbs and stuff. Just do that. Can, you, can everybody see? Because I really can't tell what's on the camera right now. It's good. good? Thank you. And this is definitely an interactive uh, session here. Because it helps me not be nervous. So talk as much as you want. <laughs> so, and I kind of like to take the big parts of the stems off of the cilantro. Um, get caught in your teeth as much. That. And I was kind of surprised. I went through security with this today, so <laughs> I mean, you know they're pretty uh, they're pretty good about checking stuff, but they missed this knife. I don't know how. So I'm just 
going to give it a little chop. I also have some uh, whole pieces that I'm going to use to garnish. Now, say a quarter cup. Some people like cilantro. Don't, some people don't like it so much. You can actually just switch with uh, your herb of preference. So you can use a basil, Thai basil, regular sweet basil, stuff like that. But uh, so we'll just go ahead and put that in my little dish here. And now for measuring, I had a spoon somewhere. See a big spoon? Like a, a serving, not a serving spoon. Oh, yeah, perfect. Excellent, thank you so much. It's so nice to have assistance. Okay. So instead of doing the, what do I call out for, three ounces, I'm probably just going to do two uh, tablespoons of jam. So make them kind of hefty there. And then we'll go with uh, the white balsamic. And I like the white balsamic because it keeps that kind of clear, but you still get the kind of punch or tang of, the, of a regular balsamic. Mm -hmm. So it is a thick and see there we go. That's two. Did I say two? Two. Okay, a little bit more because Mary Berry told me this morning that I should use more balsamic, which is great. I love this. By the way, any recipe, if you don't experiment, you'll never get it to the way you like it. So don't ever be afraid to kind of do a little more, do a little less of certain things. Uh, to suit your flavors, in my opinion. But I'm just an artist, not a cook. So, here we go with a couple of teaspoons of the olive oil, or tablespoons. And I'm probably going to do a little pinch of salt and pepper in there. Anything else? Am I missing anything? These, by the way, these guys have been to every one of my kitchen demonstrations. <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence. <laughs> or they just love jamming with me. Okay. All right. What? We're stalking. It's the free stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give it a little whisk here. vinegar, some olive oil, cilantro, pinch. Is it extra virgin? Or it is an extra virgin. Uh, you can lighten up if you don't like the, the flavor that that adds. Um, slices here. Make them kind of thick. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and just kind of swipe it on the plate on the bottom. Let's see. Take that tomato, put it down there. And then I'm going to make a little pretty avocado slice. Sideways.
And now I just noticed that my mozzarella doesn't match the <laughs> circumference of my tomato and my avocado. So I'm probably going to modify that just a little bit. Go for this here. Stand mango jam. Now you can substitute other jams with this. I've made a, I think last year we did a strawberry with a regular uh, aged balsamic um, and some basil. And so that's that guy. And there you have some samples coming out. But nice little salad, you know, before dinner thing. Any questions, comments? Uh, I grow some of my own tomatoes. I'm terrible at avocado growing so far. I have a lot of great fruit trees, but my avocados just haven't done real well, which is kind of crazy because in my neighborhood there's a number of really good avocado trees. I mostly grow uh, stone fruit, uh, limes, and figs. So that's pretty much mine. Yes? So on that top, you put cilantro flowers? Yeah, I've used the flowers just kind of, I mean, they they taste the same and they, 